So I got the Max Feeding Rods 5 kilowatt diesel heater and I'm gonna try and set it up. Oop. Oh good, they sent a manual. on how to set everything up. There's no actual instructions in this on how to put it together. Yeah. We're gonna learn how to build a heater today, I guess. So, here's a diagram of how I set up my diesel heater. You have your fuel tank over here. Um, certain kits come with the option to have a standpipe. And the standpipe will, will suck the fuel top to bottom out of the top of the fuel tank. Mine did not come with that. Mine just had the bottom port, which you'll find in a lot of them, and it comes with a silver nipple and a little gasket that you screw into the bottom. Make sure it's screwed all the way in, but not too tight. From your fuel tank, you have your fuel line, obviously. And this little line just signifies a Corbin clip. It's a little silver, you can pinch it and it opens, and then when you let it go, it automatically clamps on. So I have a short fuel line that goes from my fuel tank to my fuel filter. My fuel filter is clear down here and has a little blue cap, and there's also a little drainage port down here. I think that you can use that to either drain fuel or also bleed an air gap. I tried that. It says in the manual to mount it at 90 degrees. There's only a couple of things in the manual, and that's one of them. There's a little line for the line of flow from your fuel filter goes to your fuel pump and you want that to sit about 45 degrees. Usually it comes with like a little rubber grommet that sits around it and you can screw that into wherever you're mounting it to. From your fuel line goes right into where your air intake is. Here's your air intake. These are just signifying the clips that I use to secure it to it. It comes with those. Filter, your exhaust, and muffler. There's usually a, there should be a little drainage port at the very bottom of one end of the muffler to make sure that any condensation builds up is able to spit out. So make sure you're facing that down. It took me a while to figure out which one was the exhaust and the air intake. The air intake and the fuel line should be close together because you need air and fuel to create combustion, right? Here's your exhaust. All these, these two pipes are mounted outside my van. This fuel line does not run into the exhaust. It's just signifying where I connected the fuel pump to the diesel heater. These are under the van. Originally, when I first started this heater, I didn't fill up the fuel filter, and that took a while to actually get fuel up into the heater. So it caused an error OA code, and that means either there's air in your line or there's not enough fuel. So these are designed to run rather compactly. These fuel pumps don't have enough power to actually pump fuel from a long distance. So make sure that your lines are long enough to get the job done, but also short enough so that this isn't working too hard to pump fuel to your, your heater. So originally I had a super long line from the fuel pump into the heater. It was unnecessary. I just didn't want to waste the line, but I ended up cutting it in half and I secured it, and then everything ran really smoothly. At the top of your fuel pump is gonna be your wiring harness connect, and there's a clip on there that you can't actually clip onto anything else, like the wiring harness that comes with the diesel heater, so you'll figure that out. But it needs electricity, so don't forget to hook that up. Otherwise, you're not gonna pump anything. We have operation. Fuel, baby, you know you want it. It's right there, it's right there. Let's see, that's gonna blow up immediately. <laughs> there it goes. It's in the system. Six hours later. We have heat. Oh, my hands. So now that we got the diesel heater up and running, we are going to now mount it in the van since we have some sunshine to work with. For anybody that has kids, these make the best sleds, I think. Not me just laying in the road right here. Where else am I going to do this, though? So we have, from the start of the rib here, about ten and a quarter inches to work with. 
So, essentially I need to cut back the floor here. So we cut out a place for where we think we want the heater to be. I had Jason tap on each side to make sure that we, we believe we're in the right spot. I really just used one of these to get through it. And we're gonna drill a pilot hole through the center and make sure that we like where we have tubes. All right, one second. I'm just gonna draw a square for my uh, I'm gonna do a better job of sealing around it once I get everything connected, but for right now I just wanted all that underplating to be sealed and it is, so good place to start. Now it's time to mount everything inside the van, starting with the fuel tank, and then we'll go with the fuel pump and fuel filter, and then right back into the heater. And then we're gonna run it. The sound of success, finally. It got us <laughs> effed up all day long but it was just a matter of making sure there wasn't any air in, in the lines and also making sure there wasn't too much line. I think that, that if there's too much fuel line, your pump has a hard time struggling, kind of like electrical. I think same thing, but we do have heat in the van, diesel heater, off the Jesus Christ, this one. 